first time, City building, not stadium building, city, city building. 
Downtown revitalization, I will tell you, city building and downtown revitalization were, were mentioned by the majority of people who commented. The environment was our fourth thing. People didn't want the stadium built on the beach theater. They did not want a parking lot that is literally twice the size of that Lime Bridge Mall on a wheat field. Thank you, Dalton, for your places to grow strategy. <laughs> Frustration with the tie caps. People expressed and their concern about the tie caps, and, and Councilor McCabe said it more eloquently than I think anybody, that this was about private interests trumping public interests. And that's what people said. But as you can imagine, when Mark Cohan told us, the citizens of Hamilton, that despite having a football team for 140 years, that if we didn't vote with Bob Young, we were going to lose that team and we would not get another one. I don't know what kind of, I've spent 30 years in business, I'm retired. I've never heard of a business case like that. 140 years, a fan base that's rabid, but in a good way, <laughs> with a new sports palace, and we're not going to give you a team. In the CFL, it's outrageous. <laughs> Thank you, Mark Cohen, for your letter. It helped. I mention that because you could see when Mark published his letter, the volume and the tone of the comments around frustration with the Kai-Cats spiked. Not surprising that that's what happened. Four more themes. One was funding. Funding related specifically to the future fund. People said, it's our money. It may be your team, but it's our money. And we want to spend it where we want to spend it. And so people questioned should that funding continue to be advanced to the TICAD organization and now to our other enemies, the provincial and federal governments, to the tune of $60 million? The seventh thing was legacy. What's left when we do all of this? What difference does it make? The eighth thing, which was uh, as strong as city building and downtown revitalization in terms of commentary, volume of comments, Progressive reputation. We're tired of being thought of as losers. And so progressive reputation in terms of the commentary, this will be available online. By the way. All of the comments in here but are online now. It's just we sorted them to help you see what is the people are telling us? What does it all mean? Because to scroll through 15, 1,600, 2,000 comments is tough for anyone. So that's why we did this. And the last one, there's no pro, uh, hierarchy here. This, these are simply alphabetical. The last one, which will not surprise anybody in this room, is pride. We want to be proud of our, of our city. We want, we want to build on the, the harbor we have invested in, imagined, and created. And we want to build something that connects those two. But there's also a pride of the development here. People aren't talking about just the stadium. They're talking, it's a, it's a phrase that you know, has been used in the campaign. This isn't about building a stadium. This is about building a city. And that's what these comments talk about. And I'll just add one last comment. And it's not the kind of thing we would have done had uh, the decisions that were made today not happened. The Tie Cats have published their own marketing brochure, finding that everyone's <coughs> got today. We didn't know that was coming. We did this because we believed the volunteers did this. We have in here, all of our comments are online. They're transparent. You write a bad comment, it stays there. We don't take it down, we don't edit. What you wrote is what you see. And that's what is in here. And there are nine themes, nearly 200 comments in here. Ticats have provided our city councils with four comments, and only one of those is from a resident of Hamilton. 
<laughs> We're transparent, they're not. And you know what? Personally, last comment for me. I believe that because we were so transparent, because we were so honest, because we put integrity before control, it bothered the provincial and federal oh, yeah. governments. They didn't think this was going to happen. They thought we were going to threaten them into supporting the East Mountain. It didn't work out that way. And so they have decided to step in in a way that I have never seen a higher level of government and let alone two higher levels of government say to councillors, you can vote any way you like on Tuesday. Doesn't matter. We're already going to tell you what the, what the outcome is. So, well, we'll look at this.